created all kind of new organizations and security around the nation tight, tightened up. So after chaos, order does come. Back in the days, whether it's fake or inside job or not, that's not what I'm just saying. That's not my point. But back in the days when you had the drug war, the war on drugs, when drugs was rampant in America real bad, now they still are. But I'm talking about the developing ages, the early 80s, I mean the late 80s and early 90s, when you had crack, cocaine, and all these big drugs just fl flooding into the country. Before those drugs came into the country, people was decent. They wasn't really messed up like that. After the crack hit, and coke and crack hit this, the nation in the late 80s and the early 90s, it fucked people up and the chaos came in and it broke up homes and it messed people up. But after the chaos, order came. They made war on drugs, all this bullshit. Now, we know, some of us know it's bull. Some of us know it's man-made, but that's not the point. I'm trying to show y'all, out of order comes chaos. I mean, out of chaos comes order. After, after chaos comes order. When you were in school, when, you, when I was in school, get away with wearing okay let me be honest with you they had the the summer for the thick girls they made a rule for the thick black girls they made a rule because some of the black girls was voluptuous and, and thick or you know shapely in in school and they were causing confusion or causing chaos in school because some of them girls in school <clears throat> was so thick that after gym class, if they kept their uh, gym shorts on, they had the whole school fucked up. And uh, dudes walk around, couldn't get right, couldn't couldn't stay focused, and it was causing chaos. With after chaos comes order. I remember when I was in school, I was in middle school, and we had Tacky Day. I put on so much. Yeah, they smile in your face. See a dog on the street, push you down to get away. For the force and the fame, and them boys just ride the way. They might talk the charts, but I'm true to the game. Introducing just in time, hit the track and go insane. My verse is picture perfect, but they don't fit in the frame. Ask about me in my city, they might say I'm off the chain. They comparing me to who? Man, I'm in my own lane. Teamed up with Bay, they light it up like propane. I think I'm Damon Wayne. Is this a low down dirty shame? Real ones, hard to find. Shout out to my cousin Chase. Hottest to touch the mic, and now I rest my case. Hold on, let me to the mark. It's the doubts of the day. Sometimes I wanna quit. Obstacles get in the way. When I came into the auditorium in the morning, I caused straight chaos in the school. I had people falling off the bleachers. I had three, two people break their arms when I came in the auditorium. Cause in the in my old school, in middle school, they had and you go into the gym and you sit in the bleachers and wait till the bell rings and everybody sit in their sections on the bleachers like eighth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, like shit like that. Everybody had their class and their groups and you sat in the bleachers till the bell rung. <clears throat> so when I came into the uh into the auditorium, gym in the gym like that. So tacky, I caused pure chaos and I had people laughing so hard, people fell off the top of the bleep. I see lions, tigers, bears, walking around without a care. It don't matter where you go, you will see it everywhere. We practice for the game, so we show them how we play. Some they look the other way, and some are unaware. Why do you have a dream? It's a woman, so severe. When you see the light of the man, they really don't appear. You're rocking with the band. Walking around without a care It don't matter where you go You 
Back in the days, and cars used to just drive. Boom, 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 boom. There wasn't no traffic signs and nothing. It was just people using their own best, uh, what do you call it, judgment to drive. And to be honest with you, when people was using their best judgment to drive, it was causing a lot of accidents back in the day. So after the chaos of the the the, the roads being so chaotic and and and, and um dangerous order came and they created stop signs and street lights traffic traffic signs regulatory signs this came after the chaos chaos is needed for order to come i i just have to say that i had to prove that and i have to say that because a lot of people don't understand chaos is needed for change to come because look The reason why we think we're so better and decent today, the reason why we think we're decent and, 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 and okay today is because our ancestors and our forefathers have, and our foremothers have been through pure hell and chaos here on this earth. So just because we're not in, sh in chattel slavery and shackles and bondage and, and getting whipped and beaten and put in cages like our ancestors was, some of our ancestors, just because we're not going through it to that extreme, we have this false sense of security. We have this false sense of uh, okay. Since we're not getting directly uh, put through the ringer anymore like we used to, a lot of us think we're okay and we have this false sense of reality. Now, now, out of chaos comes order. What? Being that we're in this fake comfortable state right now, right? What 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 is it gonna now cause let me explain something to y'all. They love me everywhere. I can't never get enough. That's his best work to me, that's a slight lunch. Just in time, be the name flow colored in Detroit. When they tell him he the best, man, they only got them up. They love me everywhere, I can't never get enough. That's his best work to me, that's a slight lunch. They think I'm Kyrie, cause I come through in the clutch. Time the hottest rapper out, well, pretty much. It's a buckly ride, you might want to buckle up. When times get rough, just keep your head up. Safe to say we fed up. I'm so far ahead, harder than the catch up. Right now I'm on the move, catch you on the next one. Gotta love the life we live, cause it's so precious. Come on, please don't get me started. Um, 
issuing more restrictions on us. The powers that be are banking. They're depending on us to keep getting worse in society so they can keep giving us more restrictions, laws, and regulations. See, if people ain't been paying attention, all around the nation, the government and local governments and federal governments have been laxing their gun laws. All around the nation, you in, in, New, in uh, Louisiana, um, in um, um, Tennessee, um, all around the nation, Florida, it's a bunch of states all around the nation where they have this open carry law, even in South Carolina. There's all these country, uh, states around the nation, America, that are doing these relaxed gun laws. I'm gonna tell you one thing that really story I ever told. Guaranteed to see some bombs when you travel on this road. When that them bitches for real, they just put them on the show. And they call me just in time, and that's if you didn't know. I got nothing else to prove, so I said it, I'm gonna go. It all started with me, but we'll keep that on the low. Bring that one, one back, back from the, from the top. top. Why are they doing this? Because out of chaos comes order. If you are, if you understood something, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Ain't really story ever told. Guaranteed to see some bombs when you travel on this road. Man, I do this shit for real. They just putting on the show, and they call me just in time. And that's if you didn't know. I got nothing else to prove. Some might say that I'm the goat. It all started with me, but we'll keep that on the low. Gotta put in the work. Most of the places right now where they're laxing the gun laws is in southern states. Let me explain something to y'all. Southern states have always been gun friendly. Southern people have always had guns, but southern people were not violent towards each other to the extent that they are today. Southern people were not, southern people generally aren't going around and hurting each other. If a southern, if some southern people have issues, it's usually a real dispute or argument or a real problem that they have between each other. Southern people are really not, until this modern times, until the last five to ten years, southern people really wasn't really the murderers of the, of the nation. Southern people get drunk, fight, and, and do shit like that. You'll get beat up, you'll get jumped. You're rocking with the DJ that ke ke keeps the hits coming. But primarily, down south, you're not seeing that extreme murder game. See, I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Chicago. I grew up in uh, Chicago and places like that where murder is second to none. See, in places up in the Midwest and in New York and Philadelphia and D.C. and places like that, Violence is second to none. It's second nature in those big states. See, down south, you'll get beat up. You get you get some drunk trouble or you get beat up or something like that. Or if you owe somebody money, you're not getting killed down south unless you did something to somebody. You might have fucked somebody's wife. You might owe, my, owe somebody some money. You did something to somebody down south to really be getting shot up and hurt. But fast forward to where we're at now. The laws and the gun laws so bad that average everyday Joe Blows are walking around with open carry, uh, the ability to have a gun on them concealed with no permit. Now, I'm not against this because I'm not, I don't have no problem with nobody being able to protect themselves. But what you have to understand is we're also being bombarded with 
bad foods that are causing bad temperaments and, and, and frustrations and anger. We're being bombarded with bad vibrations, aka bad music, negative music that is causing us to be murderous and, and violent, more violent with each other and less, less caring with each other. We've never, in the face of human, in the face of humankind, we've never been this, uh, what do you call it, uh, harsh or heinous towards each other. Never before until the last 20 to 30 years on this planet have we been so harsh and heinous to each other. 